uns natürlich dann gleich alles im MRT anschauen. Weil This promises to be a tricky operation. A large tumor has to be removed from a patient's head. Images from the initial scans show it's located very close to the eyes and optic nerve. A computer program transforms the images into a three-dimensional model. It gives the doctors a good look at everything. With the click of a mouse, bones, blood vessels and even the brain can be removed from the virtual patient's head until the tumor, shown here in green, is visible from all sides. The doctors examine it layer by layer to see which tissues are affected and decide exactly what they have to remove when they operate. Increasingly, computers are becoming essential to surgery because the amount of medical data is growing by leaps and bounds. We need more and more intelligent programs that can recognize the relevant structures automatically. They should be able to recognize deviations from the norm and then plot a tumor like this fully automatically and classify it automatically, for instance, as a very dangerous tumor. The three-dimensional patient model can do lots more. The data is sent to a special printer, which is used to create a replica of the head and plaster. The head is then made in this machine. Layer by layer, the skull is modeled using plaster and a binding agent, and then hardened with a special resin. After about seven hours, the technicians have the model of the patient's head in their hands. They can use this technique to make replicas of any other body parts as well. The doctors then experiment on the model to find the best way to reach the tumor. For instance, if they can remove it through a natural opening, such as the nose. In this way, the surgeons can avoid many complications that cause problems for patients after an operation. We can expect fewer disorders or complications resulting from the surgery itself. The sense of smell needn't be lost, for instance, or breathing may be improved, or we can avoid unsightly scarring. Here, a slip of the hand is harmless. This plaster head is meant to be practiced on. It's loaded with electronics and connected to a laptop. If the surgeon injures the wall of the bone or a nerve, the skull speaks up. Facial nerve injured. Facial nerve injured. On the screen, the mistake is clearly visible. Any part that gets injured can be removed and replaced. That gives doctors the opportunity to practice the necessary procedures until they've mastered them perfectly. These training models already exist for surgical procedures involving the nose and ears. And a talking spine is already in the works.